Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome to the preview for Liverpool versus Porto, the second leg of the last 16 Champions League time. I'm joined with Oliver Bond, who's been on this channel before. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Fantastic, fantastic. Um, so yeah, we're both going to be at the game tomorrow, so yeah, normal preview, but Oli's going to be here just to talk through the game with me. Um, a bit of a mad one, it's very rare that you have these sort of situations, 5-0 up after the first leg, which we were both at as well, uh, out in Porto, phenomenal night, probably better than any of us could have expected. Uh, and since then, it's pretty much been plain sailing, we've won most of the games since then, if not all of them. It's been, you know, Liverpool in terrific form, a 2-0 win, routine against Newcastle at the weekend, having beaten West Ham for one the week before. It just feels like, for the first time in years and years and years, all Liverpool fans are kind of pulling the same direction. We're all all positive. I mean, we had the blip in January with Swansea and West Brom, um, and people complaining about Coutinho not being replaced, and understandably so. But, you know, no one's really talking about Coutinho now, and we're playing against Porto tomorrow, and... I'm just, I just can't wait for every sort of game that we've got coming up now. Do you feel the same? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's probably the first time in years um, Liverpool fans have looked forward to, to game after game. Um, I think also every every time Jurgen Klopp's sort of been been you know lambasted by people on Twitter, he, he's come up with the answer. Um, you look at his rotation over Christmas. You look at his um, you know decision making with his substitutions. You look at his signings in the transfer window. Um, he, he just keeps you know providing the answers to, to the questions we're asking. So you, you can't ask much more. It does, and uh, one of the big questions going into tomorrow is the, the team selection. I mean, um, mm. you know, it, with United looming, and I think I, I said in my Newcastle preview, even then, even before Newcastle, I was already thinking ahead to United and almost looking past Newcastle, which might have been complacent. And uh, you know, with Porto, the, the gap's already five 0 so I'm already kind of looking past this one. But with Saturday in mind, um, Klopp's saying that he's not going to make too many changes. He's kind of hinting that. He doesn't make changes based on wrestling players, he just makes changes based on who's available and who's the best for, for that particular game. So I don't think he is going to make many changes. Um, who do you think he might rest? I don't think he'll leave m many players out. I think I think there'll be a very strong bench. I think you'll have the likes of Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino on the bench, um, you know, j just in case something does go wrong. Um, but you know, Manchester United is you know, the biggest or one of the biggest games of the season for us. So I, I highly doubt Klopp will go f full full strength tomorrow. I think when he says he won't rest any players, he, he means he won't leave them out. Mm. Um, I'd like to see Danny Ings get a, get a Champions League start. Um, you know, Adam Lallana, I think. I think there's ever start James Milner. I think we'll come back in. So in terms of the front three, do you think Mane will keep his place? Maybe I think maybe one of the three will, will surely start. I think yeah, I think out of the three will be Mane. So um, then you go Mane, Solanke, Ings, maybe Ings wide, or maybe a, a four four two with with Solanke and Ings up front. Yeah, I, I don't think he'll play play the two of them. I think Solanke missed up. Solanke missed up. You know, one of the wide positions. You, you, you're yeah. right. It might be it might be Mane, uh, Ings, and Solanke. Um, Solanke and Ings may, may swap over. Yeah. Um, but I do think the bench will be very, very strong. Yeah. So if you go from, from back to front, I think you know we agreed on Karras in goal. I mean, I, I saw some some people thinking Milner might get a game, but as far as I'm concerned, his, his Liverpool career is over. So I think Karras. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, he's made two phenomenal saves in, in two games. Yeah. Karras, the West Ham one from Arnautovic, and then the one from Diarmé on on Saturday. I think why not just keep some momentum going? Yeah, and I think. Is. I mean, you know, the Allison links are still there, and um, you know he's kind of conflicting reports, but. Would you be that upset as it stands if we didn't bring in another keeper in the summer? Um, I, I think I think we should do really. Um, I, I'm not sure. You know, Min Minule is set to leave. I, I'm not sure. Carius and, and, and Warder. You know, I, I don't think the competition is really there. Um, I think it'd be a case of Carius might not be pushed. Um, so I, I, I would be surprised if we don't bring someone in. I'd like to see us bring someone in. Um, and maybe, maybe Warder go out on loan next season because obviously his chance will be limited this year. But um, yeah, I, I, th I think we will do. Yeah. Um, right back. I mean. Gomez was making a lot of mistakes before before the turn of the year, and um, I, I think I called on this channel for him to kind of have a break from the side. I still love him as a player. I think he's going to be a great player for us. But Trent's come in, um, took a while to get going, but now he seems to be really, really comfortable in that right back position. And um, you know, Nathaniel Klein's obviously coming back, and he he was in the travelling uh, party, I think, for the away leg, and he's obviously back in full training. But for now, I think Trent is is the main man. Um, whether he's rested for Saturday, I'm not sure, but you know. He, do you think he'll play? Uh, I, I, I think he'll play Gomez tomorrow purely because of the fact that you know, Trent's played five in a row now. Um, yeah. and I, th I think for, for a kid his age, um, I, mean, I mean, I remember Klopp early in the season saying you know, he'd find it difficult to, to see Trent playing two, let alone five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we'll, we'll probably see Gomez come back. Yeah. Uh, time for a rest of Van Dijk, maybe? He's played every game since he, he joined, bar one, I think. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Lovin and Matic might come back in. Um, yeah, it might, might be smart, but then again, it might be a case of you know Van Dijk still working his way up to full match fitness, and you know he might relish a game. Yeah, that. see, I, I think Lovren's going to play at United. I think every time I've seen Lovren play against Lukaku, he's done really, really well. So I think maybe we'll see Matip and Van Dijk here. I don't think he'll rest everybody, and you know he, he wants to keep that that spine quite strong. And then uh, 
talk today was that Moreno's going to play at left back. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's fair enough, he hasn't played in ages, Robertson needs a rest, so that's fine. Um, midfield, I mean, I was quite surprised on Saturday that we saw Henderson and Chan both playing. Maybe he had um, an eye on United and he wanted to give both of them a rest against Porto. We might see um, you know, something a bit different here. Or uh, then again, who would you play at six if Van Adam's still struggling with that illness? So um, maybe Chan will play here and uh, it's quite hard to predict it as always with the midfield I think Lallana needs a game yeah, um, I think we'll agree with that I think Milner might play but then again he might be safe for Saturday so I mean picking the midfield is, is not an easy one I'd, I'd quite like to see Oxley Chamberlain you know, get a start tomorrow just purely because I, I, you know, he, he went a bit quiet for a month um, and I think he, he, he relishes momentum and I, th- I think he needs the, needs the games as well um, so I'd like to see him, him, him st- Keep his place. Yeah, yeah, and obviously we spoke about the front three, but yeah, it's it's never an easy sort of lineup to predict. It's, it's always hard in the cups, and especially when you've got a five 0 lead. But um, obviously we, you know, we, we we should we should we are well, we are going to go through, and we should get the job done on the night. Really, I think yeah. Porto still got some players missing, so um, if they, I, if they've got that striker back now. They've got that, um... Well, they've got a Bubakar, yeah, but I think uh, the other guy um, is it Mariga. I think he's still out, um, and Danilo's still out as well. So. I mean, they're going to be depleted and they're, they're not going to be entirely up for it. So I think, you know, we should probably win on the night. I probably have to pick a score. I still think we should get like a 3 0 win or something. Yeah. Um, you know, even without the likes of Salah playing. Uh, what's, your, what's your prediction? Uh, I wouldn't rule a 1 0 out. Yeah. 1 0 out. A um, lot of possession, a lot of chances, you know, and, and, and it's Danny Young finish. Don't mind that at all. Yeah, um, <laughs> and then obviously, a week on from that, you know, we won't talk about United now, but a week on from that, Will be the draw. Um, we're all excited um, oh. for the for the quarterfinals, wherever we may end up. Um, who do, who do you fan? I mean, can we? Are you scared of anyone in the quarterfinals? Um, not not at the moment. No, um, I think you know Liverpool have proven themselves against the best in England this this season against Manchester City. You know, we, we blew them away at Anfield. Um, any team coming to Anfield, I'm, I'm confident with at the moment. You know, Klopp's Klopp really turned it into a fortress. Um, I'd like to you know, travel again, Roma. Um, not sure on the nets we've had that chance, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, anyone that Liverpool face at the moment, I'm confident we can. Yeah, I, I quite fancy Barcelona. I, the way Chelsea, who you know are, are quite a negative side these days in the Conte, even they dominated that game, and Barcelona, you know, it took a, a real blunder from um, I think it was Christensen to, to yeah. basically gift Barcelona that goal. Oh, they obviously got insane quality, but I think just a nice trip to the Camp Nou in the in the spring. Yeah. Um, and we've got pedigree there, you know. We we, we beat the, we're I think we're the only English team to to, uh, to actually beat them in ninety minutes away from home in the Champions League. Um, great memories against them. Great yeah. European nights. Uh, UEFA Cup as well, going back to two thousand and one. Um, so that would be awesome. Um, other one, I mean, all English ties always always appealing. At, you know, being about memories of sort of a, a decade ago when you've seen them with regularity. And none of the English sides, I'm you know, with the exception of City, I, I fear. I mean, United. You know, I, I fancy us on Saturday and. It's currently half time and they're getting against Palace as we speak and they're losing. That'd be a good time. I mean, it's just so exciting. Yeah, it'd be a cheaper one, English club. It would, um, it would. And as, as, I've, as I've tweeted, if, if we do draw United, I'm booking my flights to Kiev straight away. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. That's the preview for Porto. Um, it's, it's, it's a bizarre one because we're kind of already through. Um, all we can really do is look ahead to the quarterfinals and. Uh, just make sure we don't get any injuries and suspensions in this uh, in this second leg because we've got a lot of big games coming up. I think top four is probably wrapped up now. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'd be very very surprised if Liverpool blow it now. Yeah, the seven point gap between us and Chelsea. We've got to go to the bridge, but you know they're not in any sort of form where they're going to be um, breathing down our necks. So everything's looking great. Only thanks for coming on. No, no problem. Thanks for having um, me. I'll leave his Twitter in the description. And everything you probably already follow him already, but um, you know, and HQ and everything. Um, but yeah, so subscribe to this channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say and all of those. And I'll see you next time.